We back in Magicraft, baby. I hope you guys are doing well. I think I want to try for a sword run this time. I'm going with the regular wand or um, the upgraded regular wand. I can say the original costume. And I'm going to try to do a sword run. I've been playing a little bit around with swords. And I think that I can make a pretty fun run. Now, I had the choice to choose a few different costumes here due to the way that the um, the relics set up. I would have had range on the sword, you know, being able to move my wand around or a stealthy approach. But honestly, getting a sword that is in close proximity to my body feels more like a warrior run. So we're gonna call this the warrior run. <laughs> <laughs> or you know it's, it's gonna maybe it's gonna come out more like the uh the adventures of link or whatever like a a, a zelda run <laughs> i'm gonna use a sword and we're gonna try to theme everything around swords uh movement speed would probably help me but if i get a big enough range increase on the sword i'm gonna be hitting things across the screen so it's not gonna matter I think going for hit points right now is probably better and a little bit less recoil is definitely going to help me with the sword because the sword spell gives you some recoil. So I got to kind of be careful with that. Uh, we should do money here. And I think what I, uh, I'm i going to try to do is get my, uh, magic, my magic bullets here upgraded in a witch works. And then re-roll that into a sword or well not necessarily into a sword into a uh, some sort of plus spell to help me because sword is rare i do believe also these guys are a pain in the butt before you're ready for them good lord magic bullet is not exactly the best spell for them i'll tell you that much all right so we have a shop ahead of us we could probably do shop we have 83 coins. Yeah, let's try shop. All right. So also having sword buddies is going to be nice. So guardian wand is probably decent. But being that it's a rare and this is a that's a rare too. This is a regular common and this is a broken scepter. OK, so I am going to reroll these because rares are basically what's going to give me the sword. Yeah, and then we can go from there and, and try all kind of different stuff. So let's reroll this into. Aha, uh -huh, we got our first one. And, you know, getting two swords at once would also be really good. Uh, do I if I do get another sword, though, I'll be able to cast it faster right now because i'm gonna get a little bit actually trident is a pretty good buy here being that it costs just as much as the um as as the rare here this is pretty good it, it, it's a reduced scatter i would get multi-shot just starting that's that's actually a really really good deal so just right now if i cast this i get just like a little double sword attack and that would be that's going to be really really good for my range it does take quite a bit of mana so we'll have to be a little careful here mr key is probably a decent get to start with just because he's going to help me with damage a little bit and oh my gosh it actually worked out guys. it actually worked out let's see if i can get us a, a a one a single key a single key here would be nice. Ah, uh, I didn't. I'll take a single shield, though. So, yeah, this works out pretty darn good. And because this one has full salvo, I'll be able to use this twice. Yeah, it's like it's a double cast. Honestly, I could do it like this. And it takes more mana like that. We'll try it like this for now. And... Uh, we will put Mr. Key here. Now, if I did this, because it's full salvo, ah, make a little shield. But it takes so much mana to do that. Okay, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I will summon a Mr. Key's head here, though. And now we need to go for maximum health, I think. That's going to be it. Uh -huh. Which one is better right now? 125 yeah the second one is definitely much much better do we go for relics or max healthy i guess we go for max health oh boy <laughs> it's strong guys it's really really strong to start off with uh-huh 
yeah for the first for the first level here for the first map area we're gonna be we're gonna be doing pretty good here now these guys usually very hard to kill oh my gosh dude <laughs> is this like superpower <laughs> I'll tell you what though it takes a while to um it takes a while to cast once you're out of mana you got to be careful I mean really careful because it drains your mana we'll probably be able to get some extra mana coming up here let's see what kind of spells we got in here uh here's a way to get uh some mana regen that would work and spell penetration is not going to help me because it penetrates through i think this is well i don't know if this is going to affect it butterfly is definitely not what we want though so if we read over this it just says spell penetration plus one but the the spell breaker already kind of goes through stuff so i don't know i think we're definitely better off with Silent Flower here than anything else, though, right? Uh, okay, we try our first boss here. Okay, I'm going to have to use the terrain here to make sure that this guy doesn't hit me. Oh, man. That was easy. <laughs> like, really, really easy. Let's see what you get here. Oh, Knight's Oath. Now... Being that this looks like a sword is deceptive because if I take any damage, I turn into a lightning dash and it's trackable, which is, it's nice in theory, but <laughs> I don't think I want it. Um, this wand, on the other hand, is so bad though. This would actually be okay for a um, a, a wand, by, uh, like one of the, um, the guardian wands. So I'm gonna keep it for now because the other wand is absolute trash. Uh, with Riz, uh, so when I do this, actually, it would have made me go in the opposite direction. It would have made me go backwards. I don't know if that would have been really good though. The recoil in general is is pretty rough to deal with, and I think it would have made the spell go opposite anyway. I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to look back at it to see how it's it's actually put together. But being that I'm protected from projectiles here is also kind of amazing man <laughs> i kind of like the way this run going okay 20 percent chance to restore one hit points when an enemy is killed immune to slow still slowed when casting spells or a movement speed plus one being able to get around faster seems like uh, it's gonna be a pretty good deal um but being that I would heal, I think Bloodlust Eye here is better than the Ranger Boots, so I'm going to take it. And we don't have any keys yet, unfortunately, so we can't go into there, but we did grab a potion of purification that enables us to get rid of some curses and stuff if we need. Let's get some extra money here. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I was like, am I going to be trapped here? Pretty good, man. I, I ain't gonna lie, guys. This seems like a pretty strong deal. Uh, using the sword up close like this has a very, very defensive feeling due to the fact that I know that I can just chop and all the the um, the, the the bullets <laughs> that are coming to all the projectiles kind of get eaten here. Do I go for money or health? Let's go for health here. I'm gonna have plenty of options to get money. Uh, on the sec- Ooh! Oh, wow, wait. This, uh, this Knight's Oath, it doesn't matter if it's on another wand. I forgot about that. When I take damage, I'm gonna turn into it. Interesting. So the only thing that would stop this effect from happening is if it would be on a Guardian Wand. I get it. So 175 and 16. This is still a better setup for me. So I'm going to keep it on there, but it's nice to, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting to see how that works. Okay. So I am going to try to get some rerolls in here. Did I miss anything in this level? No. Okay. Let's see what I could do. First thing I'm going to do is combine my magic bullets and, uh, we're going to see what we could do with the, uh, the rerolls here. First thing we'll do is reroll that, and hopefully we'll get something pretty good. It would be nice to get a second level uh, sword there. That would be really, really good. Uh, so, let's see what we can do. The only way to do that is to reroll rares, though. So, we'll have to keep that in mind. Split 
this would make a second it would make five different weaker swords that would split up after and the mp cost goes up which i don't think would be good right now this may be good later but i'm not gonna go with it accelerator spell projectile speed this would probably just make the sword swing faster yeah yeah it does i don't think it it doesn't affect my cooldown this is mainly the speed of the actual swing so that's not what i want either um resonance rune is interesting is it interesting enough to keep i don't know let me think on that for a minute uh let's redo the pillars of light overload scatter full salvo five scatter and that does bring my cooldown down if we did right now this gives me a scatter of 13 degrees and full salvo three so the wand kind of has it built in it does almost go behind me which is interesting so if i take off let, let me just show you how this works by itself okay so if i have one sword the arc is roughly i don't know 60 degrees 80 degrees something like that and if i take it on this wand the arc feels like it's around 90 degrees right it's like from top to bottom so now if i add this does it almost go behind me here it does it does swing further it does actually swing further so that would protect me from more bullets in general also if i had something like this working how does this work So that fires every once in a while by itself because I'm already getting... Yeah, it just kind of just adds another sword to it. I don't think that's the, the kind of tech that I want, but that is also an interesting idea. All right, um, I think we keep it for now. But I don't have many things to re-roll after that. I don't think penetration is anything right now. Uh, resonance by itself is is decent. Now I'm, I'm okay with re-rolling this. Making things slow, not gonna really do it. Silent Flower Plus would give me better mana regen. I really think a damage plus would be good. Duet. When the right spell is released, when the left spell ends. This would, this would do some very, very quick stuff. So, 40% of the damage of the left spell. So, what does this look like? So, it's a, it's a double cast. It's just a double cast in general. So, if I did... And it's kind of behind me? It doesn't seem like it takes much extra mana, too. That might be really good. That might We're definitely going to keep that for now. Um, will that change the way that this works, though? With the, pa well, with the resonance rune. I don't really have anything for the resonance rune right now. So, I'll tell you what. We're going to keep... We're not going to keep this. Force cooling is also good because it'll allow me to speed up my sword swings. That is a really, really good deal. Um, do we keep overload scatter? I could reroll these into potentially... I'm, I'm hoping that I just get an extra one of these so I can, I can make it a star. I think we just keep things as is right now because this is actually working okay. Uh... 125 15 yeah the 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 mana cost i wish really wish i had one more slot on here but it is what it is all right i think we're okay now i think we're okay oh ouch huh it's gonna take me a little while to get used to <laughs> it is nice on the swing back though 
It is very nice on the swing back. Okay, well, we get a, another Mr. Key. The only thing about getting another Mr. Key would be to maybe, um, to maybe, um, re roll, like get three of them and re roll. I'll go ahead and do it. And, um, you know, we'll take split because right now we really don't have room for the, uh, the other mana augment we have. So, don't have any curses yet, don't really need a heal. So, I'll take max health here. Mr. Key, you can finish him off if you like. The Knight's Oath is interesting. I find myself waiting for the swing back when I should just be worried about attacking the next. I'm just trying to conserve mana, so it's, I don't know, it's a little bit hard to get used to, to tell you the truth. Let's see what our relic things can do. These guys are kind of tough, man. Can't break the sword. I mean, can't break the uh, the saw blade with um, with the swords. It would be cool if it did indiscriminate damage. Can break it with the lightning um, the lightning dash though. Oh, I need <laughs> I need mana, dude. I need mana. A little bit intensive. Blade of Fury is a sword. 35 damage to all enemies when you take damage. That's not what we want. Spell knockback. This would like fling enemies when I would hit them. I don't know if I would want this. It is kind of cool because it does offset something from hitting me twice if it's a big one. But going for crit seems really, really good too. Let's go with wand lens because I think... I think it's more defensive instead of, we always go so so offensive don't don't get me wrong offense is good to have you know <gasps> oh a key bro I almost missed it I almost missed that sucker all right hopefully we get some more keys in this no god dog it that was like the worst chest that we could have gotten don't get me wrong I like getting the currency I know I'm gonna need it eventually but all right Venomous Spider Egg. How much one you want to bet we get hit here? Already got hit, like twice. Oh, the poison is is triggering me to be a um a, a lightning dash. Yeah, we we definitely got hit here. Mr. Key, do you think? Yeah, we're not nearly as strong as we were the last couple runs. Not yet, at least. But I think this is going to be fun enough. It's going to be like a novelty run, you know? All right, let's see what we get here. We get Wizard's Oath gives me all one regen. And uh, scatter. Spells may be randomly died. This seems interesting, too. But oh, MP regen is higher on this, though. So cooldown... This would be a faster cooldown, more slots. I think we go for the bouquet, simply because it's the larger wand, and we could definitely use that right now. So let's just load this up like so, and then we will put... Do we put the overload scatter here? Oh. Oh, that's... That's <laughs> that is kind of neat. That is kind of neat. All right, because it literally casts both of these because they're in the overload scatter deal. That's kind of cool. And it changes the sword up based on the element. I do like that a lot, actually. Um, I don't know if we need split here, but we have the room to test it, so we may as well try. So if we add split. Oh, that is a really, really cool effect. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced now. We try to, we try to keep this and see where it goes. It would have been nice to be able to get a, um, a, a relic room right there, a super relic room, but it is what it is. Oh my! All right. Ouch. Okay, these guys are gonna be my mortal enemies, I think. 
explode and hit those guys. Oh, gotta kind of be careful with this. Also, um, can we get a Mr. Key that helps out, please? Mr. Key is taking stupid damage from those guys, though. All right, so this is what we'll do here. All right. <laughs> that was a little bit more difficult than I would have uh, liked to see. We do have a shop here. We don't have a whole lot of money. Is it worth going in? For 40 bucks? I don't think so. I think... I would love to get extra keys right now, but oh, this is going to be cool. Nice. What? What's the lightning for right there? Yeah, this is going to be interesting getting around to these guys. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be extremely interesting guys <laughs> with this cooldown and stuff waiting for mana and all that Oh boy, like <laughs> I can see this being pretty complicated. Okay um, We definitely go into a witch work here To try to do the same thing as we were doing last time basically we use a little bit of our money here but hopefully we can get like a, a combo going here, so Let's reroll Butterfly into, you know, Troll Serum is useful for Mr. Key, but I don't think it's worth really keeping it. Right now, we're kind of using everything else, so let's reroll the Troll Serum. Hover would keep the swords around, but I don't think that's worth it. Okay, now we talking. So, Mr. Key is nice to have, but again, I'm not really worried about that. I'd, I'd much rather get a very, very good plus spell here. Uh, Serial was in flight. That is not going to do what we want to do. Arcane Explosion. We just went another duet plus. What in the world? So, just out of curiosity, how does this affect it if I put two duets in here? Just to see. That's a lot of mana cost, dude. <laughs> a lot. Is it worth getting two because if we were to upgrade let's look at the duet upgrade so if we upgraded it to duet plus plus it would just do 80 percent of the damage so we we wouldn't get any extra effect we would just get it much more damage and i don't even know if we're going to be using this so i do think re-rolling it is probably smart into something that's more useful. Resonance Plus, we decided that we were not gonna do that. Mana Box Passive, one max MP plus 80%. That would help considerably right now. It really would. Um, I'll tell you what, for survivability's sake, purpose and all of that stuff, Let's take the split off. Let's put the mana box and the resonance rune. And that way, at least, I'll have much more mana to kind of defend myself while I'm, I'm doing stuff. I think, I think this is a better deal. Waiting for another magic bullet seems, seems difficult when I could use other stuff. So let's reroll those. Another mana box, I'll keep for now. This is crystal store a, a damage will be very very good for now. I'll keep the damage I don't think it's worth changing out anything that I have right here. Well resonance rune, of course, so we'll we'll do the damage here Yeah, so far so good. All right um, Let's go get max health Yeah, having that having the extra seems pretty good Get away. Get away. <laughs> Still run out of mana like crazy. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is going to be this is going to be interesting going forward for sure, guys. For sure. See how long it takes me to bring my mana back up? Mmm, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to do it. 
I don't know if this is gonna do it. I mean, I could considerably lower my mana cost by taking off Duet and taking off Multi-Shot. And if I did that... Yeah, I get a lot more swings in. So that might be what we want to do. For now, let's do that. Let's just put another uh, mana box here. Because I already have like the double swing because of the wands perk. And I'll put forced cooling in here too. So I'll be able to cast faster. And we'll try this out. Will this allow me to just kind of go through and, and act like I'm, I'm playing a sword character? A warrior character? Still run out. <laughs> I mean, I run out all the time anyway, but I, I did run out a lot slower. Okay, spells can penetrate through walls. We definitely don't need that. Lightning, 35 damage to all enemies when you take damage. I know I'm taking a lot of damage lately, but I think getting a new potion is good too. Reroll all spells in the backpack. Uh, Nope, not yet. Remove all curses, lose all coin shields. No, we don't need that. Um... We can't break that because of our spell setup. Unless I would take damage, then I could with lightning dash. That was smart. <laughs> Just force yourself to take damage. Yeah, I didn't get anything from it, but... Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. Oh, look. Magic bullets. You trash. I'm going to get mana box. Um, because at least I'll be able to re-roll that at some point. Guys, I'm, I'm kind of low on keys this, this rip too, man. Like, I know I didn't buy... I wanted to buy some earlier, but I didn't. Okay. I, I don't want to re-roll anything at this point. Let's just go... I, don't, I just don't have enough extra spells to be able to do that. Ouch. Need mana. And I need to stop taking stupid damage too. Bigger ghosts, okay. Yeah, yeah, the elemental effects are interesting on the swords, that's for sure. I never knew that it really made it change shape or anything. All right. Well, we have our boss. We still don't have any uh, any keys for that. Oh, this is going to be easy because you don't have any projectiles to do anything to me. Well, you do have projectiles, so. Okay. Just waiting for my mana to refill here. Oh, well, if I got mana, boy, you can't hit me with no projectile. What's wrong with you? See, I was hoping that knockback would actually do something with this, but it doesn't. Like, I do have knockback, but like the bosses don't get knocked back. Or maybe it's just the way that I'm hitting them with double. I don't know. But the run does feel fun. It's fresh. It's it's like a lot different than I'm used to playing. <laughs> If only I could reflect projectiles. I think an upgraded sword does that, right? Maybe. Uh, Brilliant Fireworks is a rare, so I'm going to grab it. Energy Saver would actually be very, very good here, too. It's a star spell, so I'm going to grab it. Charging Mode, I'm pretty sure, is not what I want. It would be cool, but I think it would just summon them all at one time, and I needed to be back to back, like swinging a sword. So I'm going to actually take these two instead. So instead of the mana box plus, let's take the energy saver plus. It is going to reduce my overall damage, but I think that's okay because I'm going to be able to. Yes, 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 yes. That's much, much more in line with what I'm imagining for this run. So we'll we'll stick with it for now. Okay, just go behind the walls a little bit. It's too bad I I don't have like a dash that I can use. I mean, I have lightning dash, but that that's not what I mean. You know what I mean? Like a like almost like a dodge roll to get in to close gaps. 
Like, I think that would be really, really cool, too. Some of these... <laughs> Some of these uh, enemies, though, I'm, I'm starting to see complications with this run big time. Oh, man. Let's see. All right. But, hey, once, once I get a little bit of mana, it's just not where it needs to be. Right now, it's only novelty, but that's okay. Let's grab this. Yeah, that lets you close gaps, all right. <laughs> I don't know about this run, guys. We'll try it, though. Any coins that I've forgotten? No. And there's another... Duet. Man, I would be really close to a duet plus plus if I waited, if I would have hold that, held that other one. Do we go relics here? We don't have a whole lot of relics. We probably need coins first. Oh gosh, that hurt. The recovery from lightning dash is a lot longer than I am... Uh... Oh my god, okay. Gotta be careful with that. <laughs> Get this stupid snake off my back. Alright, yeah, right now, we seem to be doing okay. Permanently increase or decrease the size of your body, I'm not really interested in that. But I do get a uh, another potion. Possibly. MP increase MP regenerate. This will be great for a boss, so we'll keep that. Uh, still no keys. What is going on with the keys, man? This game is just being key stingy, this this rip, bruh. Big time. I missed almost all of the, uh, the doors and stuff. Had I took damage right there? Oh my gosh. That lightning dash effect has a weird... A very a very weird side effect that, that I'm not used to. Like, sometimes it goes off. It's hard to explain. But sometimes it goes off. It feels like it goes off without me actually getting hit. And then sometimes it's separated from my actual body. I don't know. See, Magic Robe was the other alternative. I could have gotten a um a, a deal with this, but one thing was that the the radius was smaller, so I didn't want to do that. And the fact that the meter I could I could stretch my sword out would have been better to hide behind walls and stuff, but I wanted to just try it with a localized sword. So getting shield when I go into um Getting shield when I go into new rooms is, is definitely good. I could use all the shield I could get right now, to tell you the truth. All right, let's try and see what happens with this. These guys are nice with this because it really doesn't reflect anything. Yeah, they try to join back up, unlock everything. Oh gosh, that's very helpful. Gosh. Oh, God. Never mind. I took a lot of damage right there. Hold on. Hide. Hide and get mana back. See, I could... I'm not doing a whole lot of damage to these guys. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Uh, no rare spells, so we'll go ahead and take a rock and ball and a... Um, I don't know. We'll take water gun. Because penetration is definitely not it. Okay, a reroll potion. We already know. Awakening potion. Unlock potion. Unlock everything locked in the current room. We would get a... A chest from here. It doesn't feel like it's very valuable, but I want to do it. Oh my. Okay. Slow down time for 12 seconds. Gain a temp shield equal to the amount of lost HP. That's really, really good. Um, I'll tell you what, though. We're going to take the slow down time and just use it right now. Just to try to get another potion. Uh, reroll all spells in the backpack. I think we do reroll some stuff here. Let's take off all the stuff that we don't want to reroll. Keep the duet plus just in case. I don't know if it gives you the star ability, so I'm kind of scared with that. 
kind of the same thing with rares but we'll see so we got one rare two rares i'll keep one just in case and re-roll that the residence rune i think we keep the mana box we already have a mana box plus so i don't i don't think we worry about that let's re-roll all of these so um where is the re-roll ah oh, it's this one okay so we re-roll all of those and we get oh this is pretty good thunder core 25 percent chance to deal additional damage to all enemies within radius that's pretty good boomerang now this is what i'm talking about this is adventure of link now i got the sword and i got it's too bad i can't right click to throw the boomerang that would be so neat man maybe you can map like using certain things with some interesting macro programs or something like that that would be neat uh we definitely don't need leg wire over here do we go for thunder core i don't know i don't know we probably could use it so if we if we took away overload scatter we can still cast very very fast if we took this away we can still swing very very fast i don't know if we need the two swords at once so if we took away energy saver we could probably do more damage because it's reducing our overall damage so let's try a few things now we i know we just we just shooting from the hip at this point so thunder core would definitely give me more overall damage um full salvo for every one additional shootable spell in the mp cost these spell cast 80 percent and scatter plus 10 percent so this would help if i had two of these and it still does double the deal i don't know what's up with that lightning strike that happens maybe that's it was doing that before so it's not thunder core maybe it's the bouquet i don't <laughs> i don't know i don't know how that works all right let's grab the awakening potion and uh yeah all right so we can still re-roll some spells here which i think we'll do we got 60 bucks there's a shop after this that's x i wish they would have came in the reverse order to tell you the truth but that's all right uh so we're gonna re-roll pillars of light we don't really need accelerator getting some area of effect would be really cool right here i'll keep mana box because it's it's been kind to me in the past we have a second split oh no that's the first split we had re-rolled the other split all right these magic bullets keep popping up too penetration we don't need orbit i already know what it does and i want to show you because i know people are going to be like that would have been cool the the range is too big see how it's it's too it's way too far away from me that's the only thing i actually tested that and i came to that determination i was like that's not that's not what i want if it was a tighter uh orbit i think that would have been cool but it's not unfortunately ghost fire we don't need extended range there we go okay so that's our first one so right now if we stand right here you can see that we're barely hitting the the end of that if i were to put extended range on here and hit you can see we're up to the middle of that now granted it's really novelty right now but it will get to the point to where it's much much more profound so we'll keep that for now leg while we redo bruh the duets that are coming out this run can you believe um I'm not using any other spells right now, so Resonance Rune just seems to be meh. Although, with Boomerang, it might be interesting, so I'll keep it, I suppose. Volley, we've decided to keep. I think Overload Scatter, we can we can redo that. Okay, Force Cooling Plus is amazing. Definitely happy about getting that. Now I'm going to be able to... Ooh, that's fast. Okay. <laughs> very very cool um yeah nothing else i can really re-roll here i need to save some money for the shop anyway so let's do it let's see there is a door to go in here too that means there's potions we could probably get something good i already see a range enhancement that i'm gonna want and a mimic so unless there's something that gives me money 
uh, for these potions, I'm not really going to worry about it. Alright, so let's see. 25% of your current coins, see? That's what I meant by money. Although I don't think it's going to help me that much. Concentrated Intima Locksmith's Potion, double the amount of keys. 20%, okay, now we're talking. 20% of the current hit points into coins. So if we grab that... Now we're at 63. So if I get that, it will be... 25% is going to add roughly, what, 16? And it costs 8? I do come out ahead. So I'll do it. Okay, 69. It's not much, but hey, it is what it is. Okay, let's see. Double the amount of keys. I might want that, depending on if I get keys, because I've been having so much trouble keeping them. We'll just keep all of these in here for now. Okay. Oh, I did forget a plant too. My bad. It could have been an extra dollar. All right. So this is critical hits. We're definitely going to get the range here. We're definitely going to get the mimic cube. I do want to get keys here as well. I think I'm going to get some extra keys going. Oh my gosh. I'll take that too. And what is this? This is witch's broom. I'm going to get that. I want to get a double key. If it graces me with it. Bruh. What is this? Swift blade. Fire interval. When holding this wand, move speed plus 40. Scatter plus 90%. I don't think it's worth the money, but it's interesting for this run. Okay, this is what we wanted now. We'll get both of these and we'll double them. So we won't ever have to worry about keys again. Nice. All right. Oh, I had six. I thought it doubled. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know what the heck just happened. I thought I was going to get eight, but... Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, I, don't, I, I have no idea. Let me get this shield. All right, we spent all of our money. That's good. Let's get the... Should we go relic room here or spells? Um, now, if I get to a witch works, by the way, I can combine for an extended range. But yeah, I think we go spells right here. Nice. Very nice. I'm out of mana now. I'm out of the mana. Very much out of the mana. Look, now they're giving me keys all over the place. I swear, I will pitch a fit. There goes my shield. Or some of it, at least. I'll tell you what, though. I do gain mana back fast enough to where I can retaliate against stuff when it gets ugly. So that is a plus. To my current setup um oh my god the duet it happened <laughs> i can get another duet plus and combine them or do i have three now i think i only have two anyway accelerator we'll keep instead of rebound yeah the duration spell rebound plus two does this do anything i think it doesn't but just in case no, it, it kind of just goes through the walls. That's that's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right. Um, next room. Kind of conserving my mana. Oh, <laughs> it worked. It lasted the whole time. All right. Uh, here is, this is the second boss of this, yeah? I'm wondering if I should actually take damage here if possible. No, I can't take damage, first of all, but I was going to hit these uh, these things in the corners. Now, for Thundercore, this is better for room clear, but right now I don't need it. I need something oh i also need to put the resonance rune in here i need something to give me either better damage or range or something like that and what i think i'm gonna do is this 
I'm going to double damage for now. I think that's going to be better for this particular boss. Uh, and gaining a tip shield with the equal to the amount of hit points lost. This is awesome. I'm going to use that. Increase MP regenerate. I'm going to use both of these. Both of them. Ouch. Ouch. The lightning dash is messing me up, dude. I'm definitely trading that sucker in. Need some mana, and I'm just... This is the easy to deal with? Bruh. I also have to watch my recoil. All right. Yeah, I don't. I don't see me getting through here without um, without <laughs> taking a lot of damage. Yeah, this is gonna be a hard fight, guys. Very, very, very hard fight. Only have 17 points of shield left. Dude. Wasn't expecting to, to get hit there. Oh. Oh, gosh, dude. I don't even have him halfway down yet. I think I just need to, like, burst when I'm close to him. Let my mana get up. And then just focus on dodging. Yeah, let's try it like that for a minute. Oh, dang it. I still have regular shield, though. Still have regular shield. I still didn't get hit yet. Technically, I didn't take damage yet. Okay. Yeah, I need I need this run to pick up, man. Or I'm gonna I'm gonna get annihilated on the next floor, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna get so annihilated on the next floor. I missed him like completely. Whiff, 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 whiff. Okay. Ooh! Still, still in it, still in it, guys. Oh! Don't get hit again. Oh, I did! Right at the end. Oh, man. I did take damage. That sucks. I was so close without taking damage, but it didn't happen, bro. It didn't happen. Okay. I am definitely getting rid of the Knight's Oath. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, we'll we'll have this um, uh, passive resonance rune set up somewhere else, but I'm definitely getting rid of this. Okay, Black Goat's Womb gives me the biggest um, the biggest advantages. Energy storing globe is really really good too, but I need I need a bigger wand. One ten and nineteen. Huh. Energy storing globe would give me a lot of um a lot of MP though. Maybe I buy another one at the shop because this is so good to have. It would be an extra 250 MP. This would help me so much with room clear. Although getting reduction in cost, the cooldown and stuff for this is very, very slow though. So I wouldn't want to be using this too much. I like to be able to spam stuff. So let's get energy storing globe instead. Now I can use that. And I can also add this in here. 
like this. That's better. And that way I'll be able to upgrade this range and put it in here too. Although MP cost 50% duration. Yeah, this would definitely help with this. Max wand, 80%. Beautiful. Um, and uh, we'll do this for now. Oh, I, I think I want to do this too. I want to put that back. Mimic cube. We'll put that in front so we get another resonance going on. And then we just put boomerang in here. How about that? That's probably the best thing I can get set up for right now. Okay. Well, we go to the next level. All right. Let's see how we could survive this madness. Getting in those chains really sucks. Oh my gosh. But we do have a lot of mana to play with. We do have a lot of mana to play with. And I ran out just in the last minute. I think we would benefit from some lingering for these type of enemies. No idea which one is the right one. Oh yeah, I need I need a lot of range, guys. See how I don't know which one is it? That's him. But you gotta find him first, right? Also, I'm still running out of mana big time. Wow. <laughs> that does not bode well. Relic options plus one or temporary shield for every enemy killed or every three enemies killed. <sighs> I guess we go with the temporary shield right now. Gosh, I, I mean, we need some stuff in the shop. <laughs> we need more money for anything, though, if we can actually get through this. Um, I don't know if Thundercore is really what we need here. Force cooling seems to help a lot. I think we need more range and more damage, though. Hmm. More damage. Let's do bigger range. That might help a little bit. Double damage, more range. I still don't know if we... Hmm. Hmm. How about we do this? How about we give double range right now? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's a pretty big sword. I can still swing it pretty fast, so I think I'd be able to help with projectiles a little bit more and hit bigger enemies without getting so close. Like those chain enemies, those are really, really hard to hit right now, man. Um, we'll try that. We'll try it. So far, it's okay. Burst would definitely help. Gosh, dude. They, they're so tanky. We're not doing nearly enough damage. Not even close to enough damage. Oh, I got stuck on the uh, the block. Oh, that's him. I mean, the range is nice. We definitely need to upgrade it to get a, um, a range plus. Oh my gosh, dude. Um, relics or coins? Uh, let's go for coins again. May as well. We might be able to get something good from this.
Oh gosh. This might be my nightmare. Actually, it's not that bad if you let them separate because of the way that I have the range set up. Not that bad. Although, Thundercore would probably help me a lot with this particular type of, of room. It is nice to be able to just swish projectiles away, though. So, uh, like, don't get me wrong. I think this run... It, it could definitely work. We just need some help, man. We need some help. It is nice having the extra mana again, though. Like, um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we went with the other one. The, uh, the one that we did. Okay, come on out. All right, Whew. it's kind of intense, kind of intense. Okay, so spells or relics? Let's go spells. I can't think of any relics that would, that would be extremely beneficial. Don't get me wrong, there's probably a few that would be okay to have. Definitely need more damage, though. Let me go! <laughs> Let me go so I can reach these suckers, man! This does not seem like the kind of run that we can win, though. Unless we get some incredibly good upgrades. Oof. It is nice that once I get a hold of them, though, they can't really do a whole lot. That is not going to be the case with the bosses, though, unfortunately. Like, you don't... The elemental effects aren't nearly as good. Um, we have... Duet, duet... We need duet number three in order to combine. Yes. And um, do we need Mr. Key's hand? Not really. We'll take it's better than Legwar though. I mean, I suppose this would be better right here. That's the only thing I can think of. Let's check out the the open door here, the key door. Oh my, oh no. Four, three, four, two, one, one, four, four, four. Three, four, three. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on then. One, two, one, one, four, three, two. Good lord. <laughs> Echo Plus is probably probably worth it. Not not particularly for this build, but when an enemy is hit. This could be pretty interesting with like uh, some sort of explosion effect or something like that. It might be pretty good. We'll keep it in mind. Dang sure, but good lord, this was uh, the longest thing ever. All right, let's be on our way now. Um, shop is 83. Definitely gonna go with the shop here. And what can we do? We do get another sword, which we've been waiting for all run. So we're gonna grab that. Um, now we'll need to combine them too, naturally, but what is this? Shapeshifter. The cooldown is very, very long for it. It's very cool to have that, uh, that MP in that region though, but I think it's very, very expensive for what we have as well. Uh, spell duration, we definitely don't need. We'll re-roll this. Okay, getting a Guardian Wand would be interesting. Just to kind of help us out, but <laughs> I think I think we're gonna stay true to what we have here. Guardian of the Kingdom would give me charging for standing still. It's a very, very good relic, but not what we want. Uh, what is this? 
chilling touch would just give us freeze we already kind of are able to freeze stuff there's an echo plus we don't need that uh, another uh, resonance rune rainbow electric net we've had that before that's a really really cool but this is extremely expensive storage wand oh it's just because it's full of stuff um i don't think we need any of those though and that is our last one besiege would give us some damage but the cooldown is very very long on that i think we take a chain lightning just for the the spell to be able to reroll um may as well buy orbit 2 even though that we're not going to use it let's get some shield let's get some health and let's go for a spell room here we are getting some tentacles that help us now yeah we need a witch works now big time guys big time oh just clicked off I think the uh, the Mr. Key's tentacles will kill them eventually. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they they really can't do anything against uh, with projectiles, man. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Does it actually defeat the circle um, bullets too? The sword. I need him to be able to shoot it at me instead of the tentacles to be able to tell. Yes, it does. Oh. I didn't realize that the sword could defeat those. That's that's really cool, actually. Yeah, it's hard sticking with a build that you know is not really strong and not pivoting. But, like, forcing builds, I mean, that's where we're at with content right now, right? Like, I've done almost everything imaginable in the game so far. Uh, there's still a few themed runs I could probably do. Like, I still want to do a black hole run. Um, you know? Okay. I don't know if another spell breaker is needed, but out of these three, it's definitely the best. And it's a rare, so we could always reroll it if we wanted to. And let's take Rock and Ball as well. Um, all right. We'll go with Relic here. Cursed chest, huh? Can't hurt me with that stuff. I mean, I'm not talking trash. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> right now, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to show off. Okay, not yet. I can't get cocky yet. Not with this. Not with the current setup. Let me get to that witch works though, and we're gonna, we're gonna see. Maybe I will be able to. The tentacles are definitely helping with passive damage, and it doesn't feel like it's um, like it's 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 changing the theme of the run, right? It's just a little bit of extra. I should probably lower my volume a little bit too. I hope I'm, I haven't been echoing. Uh, MP regen two temporary for shield. Yes, let's just get more MP regen. Hey, and we got a witch work. Okay, reduce your projectile speed by twenty percent. Does that matter? No, <laughs> not at all. All right, let's go with this. So let's make sure. Oh, we got an extra room here too. But that's just the um, that's just to combine four spells into one. Uh, I am gonna see if there's some plants here though. Yeah. There's always some plants that I can possibly get a couple extra coins from, or at least one. Okay, so we change. We re-roll the extended range, and we re-roll, I mean, we combine the Spellbreaker. Okay, so now we have Spellbreaker Plus, which, by the way, is uh, bounced back to most, oh, wait, bounce back most enemy projectiles. So now it doesn't just destroy them, it, it sends them back. So the damage goes from 39 to 78. This is such an enormous upgrade. Also, I don't need volley anymore because I'm not using double swords. So we could take volley out. Um, I think getting putting another spell breaker in here might be good. But first, I want to experiment a little bit first. So extended range plus gives me a really wide sword. So that's good. I think doubling it right now would make sense. 
So if we take, we also want to add this if possible. Uh, yeah, getting getting the um, the witchy call here, the the multi shot is probably a good thing. So we will put multi shot in front, and that's gonna allow us to. Where is where did I put no one? Multi shot. Okay, and multi shot goes up front. Now we still get the double spell, so that is gonna be more damage. It would be nice to be able to get some enhanced damages here too. All right, what can I reroll? The boomerang is doing absolutely nothing for us. It has for a, it has not for a long time. Getting chain lightning in this mix would be interesting as well. I think. Let's reroll the rock and ball. Okay. Duet plus. Not helping us do anything, but we got other stuff to re-roll first, you know? Okay, we can re-roll Orbit into Orbit Plus, and then, well, Combine. I'm sorry, I, I know I keep saying the wrong things here. Crit would be better. Crit would definitely be better than the Mimic here. Crit Plus, for sure. Um, is it better than putting a damage Instead of Thundercore, I don't know yet. I don't know if Thundercore is actually helping us a whole bunch here. We might. It's a plus, so it's it's not a big thing. So 40% of the let's re-roll duet plus, man. Not into Arcane Explosion Plus, even though it'd be kind of interesting with um with some other stuff like um, Echo, it would be kind of interesting with Echo, but I'm 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 not gonna go for it now. Damage plus, nah, that's what I'm talking about. So damage plus instead of damage here is unbelievable. Instead of Thunder Core, if we do Chain Lightning here, does that? Chain Lightning is not doing anything, it feels like. If we put Thunder Core, it does shock. Okay, so Thunder Core is definitely helping our damage. 25% chance to deal an additional 100% damage to all enemies. Yeah, it, definitely much better than having Chain Lightning now, which we can reroll if we want to. Um, we can enhance Duet. I almost forgot about that. And we can reroll it again. And to split twice? Five weaker. I don't know if this is what we want. I think we would rather another range upgrade. Ghostfire only have one reroll left. Mr. Key's head two. Um Yeah, that's not what I was hoping for to tell you the truth. <laughs> that's not what I was hoping for, but look, at this point, why not? You know? If he could do some stuff for us, why not? Uh, yeah, we'll summon him. And I think we want to keep this like that. I don't know if multi-shot is better than having another damage here, but I'm going to go into the assumption that it is for now. And uh, yeah, that's, that's all we can really do with our current amount of money. I, I could go into this room and combine four random spells. You know, let's do that. Let's combine two mana boxes, a volley, which we're not using, and... Oh, yikes. There's nothing else I can combine because we need to add to the same level rarity. Um, we can add damage, which seems crazy to do. Ah, uh, let's do it. We might be able to get something really, really good here. Let's fuse, and we get a troll serum. Okay. Well, that is not what I wanted, but we do have four star spells here. 
what happens uh, you know going with the mr key thing guys oh can i i can't do this again all right i was gonna i was gonna re-roll mr key again <laughs> i really was um let's resummon like so and we get a big mr key now and uh, Now, that's that's about the best I could do for this current setup. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, we could do another resonance rune with here to summon even more tentacles. I think that would be pretty smart. We'll try that. So, yeah. All right. Still kind of hurting. <laughs> and we got the boss now, uh, which is probably going to be very, very hard to kill. We are doing extra damage to him this time. That hurt. That hurt. And we got to get to him as well. Oh, we can we can we can cross the borders here. I keep forgetting about that. Bro, he is he is hard to find. My tentacles are doing all the work, I think. Gosh, man. I don't know where he's at anymore. Keep getting hit on stuff? If I could fly right now, it would help a lot. The tentacles are doing all the work here, guys. All of it. Okay. I have 34 health left. I have 54 health left. <laughs> Thank goodness. Power Traction Plus. Uh, bruh, the cereal. <laughs> Spells deal damage to two other enemies within a radius if it critical hits. It's a rare that we can reroll here. Um, and we get Bloomerang Plus because we're not really going to use anything else. I don't know if I'm getting through all of these guys. This is bad, bad, bad. Um, do we use Power Traction here instead? I mean, it is a better quality spell, but it's only if it crits. But this is 25% chance too, so it's like the power traction already seems to be more effective though. Already seems to be more effective. Mr. Key was probably helping on that uh, fight too. The tentacles and the spider doing, doing, doing the dang thing. Gain a random chest? Yeah, don't mind if I do, guys. Oh, naturally, it's cursed. God dog it. <laughs> it just ain't... It don't want, guys. It don't want. <laughs> Can't believe. Okay, oh. A shop with only 15 bucks. Relic option minus one. Yes. At this point, we'll get some extra coins. Okay, 23... At the very least, we can get some hearts in the shop. You know, we don't have a whole uh, bunch of uh, options right here to, to help the run. Another sword? Uh, to what end though? You know? Yes, it would be another one that we can combine in a witch work, which we might not even get left in the run. I think going for hearts right here is essential. If we wanna, if we want any chance of surviving, we go for extra hearts here. Um, I got 10. Yeah, I think we hope that that last one is another heart too. It's 13. It is another heart, but I don't have enough for it. Let's try to re- Yay, there we go. All right. We, <laughs> we have some health back, guys. I don't know if it's enough, but do I have enough money for anything here? No, I got $1. Okay, well. These definitely help. Now you can see how much more damage we do than we, than we were before. So it is a drastic improvement based on where we were at earlier. Oh yeah, give me hearts, baby. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's it's a drastic improvement. The power traction is helping with these guys too. Mr. Key is also doing the dang thing. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> guys, we might have something going here. Uh another resonance rune seems good another solid flower seems good because this can now be rolled into this and this could be used for something else right right uh okay relic options i tell you what for a warrior run i sure don't look like a warrior maybe a little like caesar yeah maybe i do kind of look like caesar a cross between Caesar of Rome and Kano <laughs> from Mortal Kombat with the, with the red eye or whatever <laughs> Dude, that was an easy room 1% chance to instantly kill non-boss units restore 4 MP whenever an enemy is killed I think that is the better choice for us Only two relic options kind of stinks though permanently increased move speed, you know, why not at this point? Um, oh, we got another potion too. Increase MP regenerate. Okay, for 10 seconds. That's not a huge help, but uh, we definitely go with the witch works here. We only have four bucks. Maybe, just maybe, we will get six. We have six, so we can make two rerolls. Oh, and there's a, uh, a healing spring. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we reroll. Boomerang, actually we reroll Echo Plus because it's a rare and we could, well, I mean, that's a, a significant improvement. We only have two dollars left though. We can reroll a regular into another one. We might get a damage, you never know. Rares cost three to reroll. Commons cost two to reroll. Pluses cost three to reroll. We don't have enough money. We can only reroll one common at the most. And I guess we will reroll. Do we have a common we even want to reroll? Oh, we could combine. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can combine. I didn't even notice we had three of these. We could combine that. That's good. That is really good. Now we can put a mimic cube there. Um. Maybe we do re-roll this and to see if we get a damage, maybe? No, we get a hover. Hover with the uh, the Spellbreaker is interesting. I, I don't think it does what we want, but if we did it, it just stays on the board. But it's how effective is that? I mean, I guess when you swing it a lot, they all over the place. Huh. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I think multi-shot is better for us doing damage. So that's that. Uh, let's go. Let's heal here. So we need to remove these curses. And then we heal. Oh, thank goodness. All right. We have 290 now. All right. Let's do this. Now we may have a chance, guys. The the recent upgrades that have improved my strength, as well as the health boost from that last um, that last healing spring, definitely have increased my confidence levels. Normally, I don't roll into these runs with very realistic expectations of how well it's gonna go. You know, but hey, now that we have a little bit going on, we're also gaining temporary shield, which helps a lot. Oh my, another witch works, you say? Another witch works. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, with more coins too. And, and we can combine over here too. Okay, this is the mid boss though coming up. Or is this the final? I don't know. We didn't. Yeah, we fought the mid boss. This is the final. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I think we need to go all out here. The the Thunder Core is good for additional enemies. It is not going to help us on this boss because 
there's a few additional enemies but who are we kidding if we get a damage plus right here or something not a damage plus but you know what i mean expansive stone is not what we want chain lightning plus is not what we want a guardian wand that may help for sure let's reroll this into we want a lightning dash for our, our deal no i don't think so disruption ray brilliant fireworks hold on i gotta make sure that i'm giving ourselves chances for a re-roll on a common plus mana box plus is no that's definitely not coming down force cooling all right or do we have any common star spells besides the resonance room realistically speaking we would want a damage upgrade if possible this is this could be okay water gun plus is not it uh we have one more chance at this Okay, Pillar of Light plus is also not it. So, if we go to here, I mean, I could get three more bucks here, but probably not. No. Oh, actually, I did. Hold on, then. We could re-roll this again. Pillar of Light plus into, okay, Boomerang plus is not it. All right, that's fine. But we can combine these in this room. So, we could do Boomerang plus, Boomerang plus... And then we can do, um, oh wait, no, I don't want to add that. Mr. Key? It could be very, very helpful in the last boss fight. I don't know if I want to do that. Do we care about, oh, that's rare though. Okay, get these out. Let's do... Power we already have power traction plus, so we don't need power traction regular. Um, hover is not a rare. Chain lightning is a rare. Spell breaker, we already decided that we don't need a second spell breaker. And now all we need is one more uh, rare spell, right? A regular rare. No, we're using two headed. We're using a uh, multi shot, I mean. A regular rare. We could do Mimic Cube. Let's fuse and see if we can get something really good. Lightning Dash Plus is not what I had in mind. Um, but you know what? We will use it. So we already have Mr. Key doing his thing. If we got Guardian Wand with Lightning Dash Plus, I think that is going to be better than nothing. I really think it's going to be better than just having Mr. Key on the the weight you know what i mean so yeah we'll try that although now i do have a rare plus along with oh these are common pluses never mind so i have three common pluses if i would reduce that i don't think that's yeah i don't think it's worth i think okay that my my wand is doing stuff now My wand is doing stuff now. All right. Let's just try it, guys. Let's just try it. Um, we do have increased MP regenerate that we will use when we start running out of MP, I guess. <laughs> Let's try it. All right. Which is like right now. Okay, we getting some increased MP regenerate. We barely done any damage to him so far. The tentacles are starting to build up though. All right, now he's gonna go in beast mode. Oh, I'm. Can I reflect my stuff at? Oh yeah, baby. How much damage is this doing to him? I forgot all about that. I'm reflecting stuff now. Oh, you know what? This guy is taking up all of my, uh, my, my other mana. I didn't even think about that. He's actually sucking up all the extra mana that I had for, um, for my spare wand that gives me, that I can go into the, uh, the pool for. Oh, I'm, I'm starting to develop a lot of curses here. Power traction is helping. OK, 
Okay, Mr. Key is dead. Maybe I should put him back. Yeah. Okay. Still doing all right. Oh, guys, we almost got it. I must have the, um... I must have the bomb, um, curse. <laughs> Get him, Mr. Key! Get him! <laughs> Mr. Key and the tentacles saved this run. Honestly, the tentacles did, but... Holy cow, we did it, dude. Holy cow. Okay. Um, so this is interesting. We're at the point to where... If we can keep our mana up... We can probably defeat this last boss guy. Right? Uh, let's see. We definitely... The, the trident we don't necessarily need. I mean, the worn wand of stone is is not nearly as good, though. So we'll... We'll replace that one with... Wand of no name. Wand of silence. MP cost 120%. Post charge... 66 points per second while standing still? Huh. Post slot charge 100%, 100 points whenever you take damage. Honestly, I think Wand of Silence may be it. So if I did this in Wand of Silence, And get lightning dash out of here. It's not really fast. So. Hmm. But I'm never running out of mana. I am never running out of mana. Although I am going closer and closer to him every time I do this. What happens if I would put hover here? Huh. <laughs> where is this going, guys? Seriously. Uh, where is this going? D can't. Is there any merit to this whatsoever? I think there maybe is. I'm just going to do this just so I can have something to shoot. Huh. I don't know. I really don't know. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. Why not? I'll never run out of mana like this, so it's very, very possible that it would do something. But now I'm not using any mana whatsoever. So... I don't know. I don't know. Just in case Mr. Key dies, I guess I'm going to do that. And... Uh, yeah. Alright, we'll, we'll try it. See, this is the problem. I'm going to keep going closer to him. What if I did Guardian Wand on this wand? If he's... If I stay close enough to him... Why isn't Guardian 1 doing anything, though? Oh, I see. What if I do it like this? Nothing? Nothing. If I add something with Guardian 1, like this, though... He'll, he'll stay trying to attack? I'm standing still, though, and I'm not doing anything? Oh, because Guardian 1 is not staying still. Never mind. Now, now I see what's going on. What if I were to add Guardian 1 like this? No, it doesn't. I was going to take him in and out. All right. Honestly, I think that I'm probably better off without it, but... 
because I'm reflecting, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> and Hover is actually helping a lot. So you see what's happening here. The swords are reflecting because they're hovering. So I'm able to keep my distance over time, just kind of backing up little by little by little. And not only am I doing a little bit of damage, but my bu the bullets reflecting are doing a little bit of damage too. And Mr. Key's helping the whole time. So now that I'm not using mana, though, Am I getting some Mr. Key? No, I'm not. So, what I'd need to do is put Guardian Wand somewhere where he is doing damage. On this wand would be okay, I think. No, not this wand. It would have to be another wand. Alright, let's put him... There? Oh, now he's just summoning over and over and over. Okay, I get it. Take that away and put this there. I do have a second Mr. Key helping out now. He did now, though, but... All right. So, I don't... Yeah, I don't need mana to cast my swords anymore. Right? Because it's just coming off of the, the wand passive. And... Now, as long as I don't kill myself on those stupid bombs that keep spawning, I'm doing all right. Well, <laughs> this is pretty interesting, right? Pretty interesting. I'm reflecting stuff. It's, it's all good. I wish the bombs wouldn't be spawning on me. I have no idea what my other curses are. Let's see what they are. Cannot attack within three seconds after taking damage. Oh, that's bad. And then a bomb will appear. Okay, we already knew that one. What about this one? Traps increase damage. I don't have to worry about that. Increasing casting interval. Okay, that's not really a big deal for what we have right now. And all damage minus 10. Oh yeah, that sucks big time. Sucks big time. Well, this is going to be a while, but I'm going to do it, that gummit. <laughs> I am going to do it. We'll be back when he's close to death. I made a modification or two here and there just to be able to summon more tentacles because at first my wand wasn't summoning tentacles. I didn't know why, and it's because this little guy apparently does not trigger the, the wand, the resonance rune. I thought he did, but apparently the guardian wands don't anymore. So I put the boomerang on my wand and I'm just periodically casting it so that the tentacles build up and help me do some damage. And uh, even though they're getting splatted a lot by the projectiles, I am, I, I am able to save a lot, and the bombs, by the way, are, are killing them. But <laughs> as you can see, it is increasing the, the, the amount of damage that I'm doing, and it, it's helping shave some time off. But for the most part, it's, uh, it's just an exercise in uh, endurance, <laughs> to be honest. Finally got him. Wow. And now we go through the portal and go back to camp. So there you have it, guys. There is your sword run. Hope you really enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ilgen signing off. We'll see you next time.